Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss Canto to Afre the log and I'll discuss line by line explanation and analysis. So let's get begin. Canto 2 Not with more glories in Ethereum's plan, the sun first rise over the purple man, uh, then issuing forth the rival of his beams, launch on bosoms of silver thames, fair names and well dressed youths around her shone. But every eye was fixed on her on her alone. Uh, on her white breast a sparkling cross she wear which Jews might kiss and infidel adore. So meaning of different difficult words that ethereal plants refer to sky, glory and silver themes, which theme is a name of river and uh, youths okay well dressed youths refers to belinda her and her alone refers to belinda and sparkling cross cross christian cross you know the their holy secret symbol in christianity so in this line the main crux or the main idea discussed in this line is that uh, uh, describe that belinda she is on a voyage in a boat and she is going to a party or a social gathering of aristocratic class in Hampton Court and uh, she uh, her beauty has been uh, compared with natural beauty and has a rival natural beauty has a rival and Belinda's beauty uh, is much more than that a uh, hyperbola is that hyper uh, to exaggerate her beauty and uh, Thames, uh, that uh, the river which was looking very beautiful, sunrise shining in water, but Belinda's beauty is much more, much greater than that. Okay, and we'll see. Okay, and we'll see that she was wearing a very beautiful, sparkling Christian cross in her neck which enhance the, her beauty and the beauty of the cross is uh, due to that because she Belinda is wearing that it on her uh, the jewel the cross looks very beautiful that even the infidels mean that the non-believers of Christian Jews they, they begin to attract towards it the cross because Belinda is wearing this okay and we'll move on to next line her lively looks are sprightly a sprightly mind disclose quick as her eyes as unfixed as those favors to none to all she smiles extend oft she reject but never once offend bright as sun her eyes the gazers strike and like the sun they shone on all alike Yet graceful ease and stiffness white of pride might hide her fall if Pallis had fall to hide. If to her share uh, some female errors fall, look on her face and you will forget them all. So in this line, uh, Pop is describing the uh, Belinda. She looks very beautiful at uh, she looks very beautiful wearing the Christian cross and ornaments and all these cosmetics and uh, she rejects okay she rejects in such a manner that uh, she rejects men who propose her she rejects in such a manner that it did not offend anyone and Kizer strike mean attracting sights her eyes uh, is being compared to bright sun, bright sun that that seems very attractive and everyone she she everyone attention was paid to her and uh, and uh, void of pride she is so sweet nice beautiful graceful not so proud bill is referred to belinda here and due to her beauty <coughs> and her important things is that female errors so female errors um, means the errors which are relative for men and women if a man uh, commit that errors it was not considered error but female commits that error it was an error so female errors refer to date if Belinda uh, commit an error 
her beauty compensate for her errors and uh, by looking her face her beauty you forget that error and uh, next lines this news to the destruction of mankind nourish two logs which graceful hung behind so here the logs of belinda has been introduced there actually the whole story is about uh, belinda's log and uh, that how she, lord baron cut them and this incident has been described in detail we'll see later on nymph refers to belinda that her beauty is magical uh, such her beauty got such a power that she become cause of destruction of men and uh, such as, as as such as the beauty of helen uh, become cause of destruction of troy you may, may heard about helen the most beautiful woman in the world and next lines we'll see in equal skulls and well conspired to deck with shining fringlets the smooth ivory neck love in these labyrinths his slaves detain and mighty hearts are held in slender chains with hairy spring springes v the birds pet prey slight lines of hair surprise the finny prey fair traces men imperial rest in sand in in snare and beauty draws us with single hair so wells conspire refer to attracting people labyrinth which is a complex network of different things and uh, hair springes refers to a trap so what actually the main crux of these lines is that she her neck uh, looks very beautiful uh, and uh, a necklace or you can say a uh, cosmetic uh, like made up of ivory she wears and uh, so like a network uh, of uh, of net the net is like a net is used to trap fish cage, cage fishes that like her beauty act as a net to catch men you can say and uh, okay use uh, hairy her hair has been described as a net which is used to attract and catch men used to make net compared to belinda's hair work as a net to trap men to seek their attention and uh, it act as a chain her and mighty hearts held in slender chains so mighty hearts refer to heart of a man and even mightier men she she become uh, they become chain up okay the men trap in her beauty and become her slaves and no one resist her beauty and uh, birds betrayal mean refers to catching birds through nets and uh, we'll see the next line uh yes slight lines of hair surprise the finny prey fair treasures men imperial breast uh, in snare and beauty draws with a single hair so hair uh, described that like uh, uh like uh like net capture their prey so hair belinda's hair captures men who, who are prey become they become slave uh, on her beauty okay the next lines the adventurous baron the bright locks admire he saw he wish and to prize aspire revolves resolve to win he meditates the way by force to ravish or by fraud betray for when success a lover's toil attend few ask if fraud or force attend his end so here baron is attracted by Ada belinda's uh, beautiful locks and yeah, it become a center of attention for him and he got a very craze and desire to get that uh, lock so he love her hair the locks and he wished to gain or that logs at any cost okay and he thinks of the ways to get that logs how he 
get uh, that logs by uh, false way or any anything and uh, okay toilets attend mean hard work so it get a hard work to get that logs and it doesn't matter that by which means you attend and the purpose whole purpose become that you just attend them in the next line you can see that for this error Phoebus was he had implored propitious heaven and every power adore but chiefly love to love an altar built of twelve was French romances neatly killed the parents prayer there lay three garters half a pair of glove and all the trophies of former lover loves with tender billet dogs he light the pyre and the British three amorous sighs to raise the fire then prostrate falls and pecks with ardent eyes soon to obtain and long possess the prize the pow the powers gave her ear and granted half his prayer the rest of winds disperse in empty air so here we can see okay hi first let me tell you meaning of difficult words that Phoebus is God in uh, Greek mythology you might heard about him in the deepest parks and implore implore that he is describing God power and uh, <clears throat> and here you can see the God of love love to love chiefly so God of love pray before him uh, the baron he play uh, pray before the love of god uh, to help him to get the locks and uh, what he did uh, he did some sacrifice french romances mean french love books he offer them them to god and to accept his prayer garters a brand uh, a band wear around necks to keep talking like and uh, trophies yes all of his achievements of his former loves and the memories all he did he sacrificed them for uh, of his love to get uh, to impress the god and help him to get palinda's lock and uh, billet dogs love letters he burned them all in a fire pyre mean uh, a fire and next lines we will see <clears throat> and British three amorous sighs to raise the fire then prostrate falls and begs with ardent eyes soon to obtain and long possess the prize the powers gave ear granted half his prayer the rest the winds dispersed in empty air but now secure the panted vessel glides the perish the sunbeams tremble on floating tires while musk steals upon the sky so here in this lines we will see that he prostrate bow bent before god to pray that uh, in any way he have to get the logs and he was very enthusiastic about the eat and he was eager to obtain to get the logs and uh, he uh, he was willing to do anything to get that logs and he sacrificed his uh, most precious things and uh, half of his prayer was accepted by the god and the rest of his wishes rest refers to the rest of his wishes they in air empty dispersion air empty means they were not accept so but now secure the Okay, we'll see there to secure the painted vessel glides mean Belinda's Belinda is secure because the spirits are guarding them guarding her sorry and uh, Vessels refer to board that she 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 comes through uh, in a board to that party Hampton and uh, Okay, we'll see that uh, they are there was soft music a soothing music was going on and we'll analyze the next lines okay 
and soften sounds along the waters die smooth flow the waves the zephyrs gently play belinda smile and all the world was gay and but the self with uh, with careful thoughts oppressed the impending war set heavy on his breast he summoned straight his penitents of air the lucid squared drones round the cellar cells repair soft ever the shrouds a real whisper breath that seemed but the first to train beneath some of the sun their insect wings unfold so here we see Zephyr. Zephyr is referred to Greek god, the god of wind, you can say. And uh, so delicate music was going on. This was the atmosphere and sound of water is was there, which seems very beautiful. So allusion is used to Zephyr's Greek god, and. Uh, so they thought uh, that some 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 they had to be they are going something bad is going to happen the aerial he was afraid that and cause uh, something is wrong or he worry or tension about that and uh, vows grief and denizens are spirits you know and all the spirits gather to protect her and we'll see the next line that some some to sun their insect wings unfold waft on breeze or sink in clouds of gold transparent forms to find for mortal sight their fluid bodies half dissolve in light loose to winds their airy garments flew Thin glittering textures of filmy dew dip in richest tincture of skies where light disports in every mingling dyes while every beam new transit colors fling colors that change where they wave their wings amid the circle on the gilded mast superior by head was aerial place so here mm, oh, it has been discussed the it uh, so here uh, waft refers to floating sheep clouds of gold gold refers to sunlight uh, height in the clouds and transparent forms refers to spirit mortal sight refers that we cannot see them so the spirits are guarding her helping her protecting her and we didn't seem see the spirits they are invisible you know and uh, what actually happens they they are protecting her in different ways and glittering clothes of her thing glittering refers to clothes of her they seems very beautiful and her beauty is compared with the beauty of nature dew filmy dew drops tincture of skies and uh, we'll see that changing color of air spirit and the uh, air spirits unlike uh, mortals they can adopt any shape size any color or uh, get changing color of air spirit has been discussed there there and beauty of their wings and uh, Ariel who was the head of the spirits and uh, they were assigned task the superior was Ariel and he assigned, assigned task to different spirits and we'll see the next lines ye sylph and sylphides to your chief give ear fair fairies genai elves demons here you know this fairs and various tasks assigned by lust eternal to the aerial kind some in fields of purest ethers play and to uh, bask and fitten in blaze of day some guide the course of wandering orbs on high or roll their planets through the boundless sky so here the different duties has been assigned the chief of spirits the aerial he he gives speech to them assigning different duties 
and uh, he he he's delivering a speech to them he said listen to me all the fairies deny them uh, all of you and he, he is assigning them work and you have to follow these rules the last which uh, the aerial i is gonna to discuss and upper layer of sky a third play refers to upper layer of sky and which is pure purest so the uh, here the ranks of spirits have been discussed that it is play the purest spirits and uh, they lived in sky so they were assigned work there and orbs refer to comets stars you know in the sky and next line we will see that some less refined beneath the most pale light pursue the stars that shoot athwart the night or stuck or suck the mist in cross a air below drip their pinions in the panted bow brew fierce tempest on wintry men uh, over the cliff distill the kindly rain others to earth our human race preside watch all their ways and all their actions guide of this the chief the care of nations on and god with arms divine british son so here he discuss ranking of spirits and their duties according to accordingly and uh, love uh, so here the less refines refer to the uh, you can say rank of spirits who are lower than the purest one who resides or who are assigned task in the skies and uh, okay arthur tonight means shoving star and cross a air mean impure and uh, they were less refined were they were given a science below the sky and uh brew tempest tempest you know cyclone a storm and uh, clip this till the kindly friend so uh clip this is referred to sand and form so they were given task in the sand in us and we'll see the next line our humbler province our humbler province is to tend the fair not a less pleasing than less glorious care to save the powder from to root a gal nor let the imprisoned essence excel to draw fresh colors from the funnel flowers to steal from rainbows are they drop in shores brighter voice to curl their waving hairs assist their blushes and inspire their airs ne of in dreams invention we best or to change a flounce or add a uh for pelo so here we uh, air spirit the aerial is uh talking to the other spirits and girls are a girl here refers to harsh wind and uh, to save the powder from rain so to prevent them okay by presence of powder and wind and uh, what actually happens there one uh, flowers uh, it refers to the spirits and bought uh, pow flowers okay they bought flowers to 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 ladies to give to the ladies and to impress them and to uh, assist their blushes means their shyness their smiles so how this is how the spirits are controlling the actions of women and we'll see they to uh, okay a uh, moment so what we did ne of dreams invention we best or to change flowers or add flower so the spirits they they uh, make inventions to make or to uh, enhance the beauty of women aerial prepares and want 
them to protect Belinda. This day, Black Omen treat the brightest fair that ever deserve a vengeful spirit chaos, some dire disaster by force of slight. But what where the fates have wrapped in night, whether the dream shall break Diana's law, or some frail china jar receive a flaw, or stain her honor or her uh, brocade, forget her prayers, miss a musket, musquerade, uh, loses her heart or uh, necklace at a ball, or whether have doom that shock must fall so here pop achieved the mockery by comparing very important things to very less important very common or trivial things so the spirit ariel he was worried about that something very bad is going to happen but he was not confident not sure what that bad thing is so names here referred Nymph referred to Belenta and uh, wrapped in night hairs mean it's uh, unseen, a mystery for it. Uh, something bad happened, going to happen. There is a mystery unseen for the spirits as well. So this line shows that it's a mock epic and uh, we'll see. Yes, I already told you comparing important things to less important thing. Uh, such as uh, he tells that assumption that Belinda lose her virginity which is important and uh, uh, important okay here we see that that is very important losing her virginity whereas less important thing uh, such as missing a party or uh, or uh, or you can say uh, for forgetting her uh, her pocket or missing the party or the losing her heart which is important to love someone or losing a necklace which is a trivial or common thing or uh, uh, or her dog may fall mean her dog may die so Another important thing here is illusion is used. Diana Lars juxtaposition compare very serious event and illusion that uh, Diana she was a Greek goddess and uh, who maintains woman virginity and uh, so these things have been discussed here. This is a perfect example of mockery and we'll discuss the uh, next lines okay has then ye spirits to your charge repair the fluttering fan be the first the first task care the drop to the brilliantly we consign and momentilla let the watch be thine do thou crispy tend her private log and Ariel himself shall be got of shock. To fifty chosen self of special note, we trust important charge the petty court of have we known that sevenfold friends to fail, thou sweet with hopes and arm with ribs of fell from a strong line about a silver pot. So here the, the cells were assigned different duties by the uh, Ariel Zeta uh, Zephrata Zephrata the spirits who have to who is a wind spirit and who have to take care of Belinda's fan and Brillanta as her name spirit refers to diamond brilliance so she is take care of her earrings diamond earrings and Momentileda uh, her spirits time reference spirit which watch uh, which have to watch uh, to guard Belinda's watch and uh, another Crispisa is a spirit uh, who have to protect the logs and Ariel he himself he have to protect the shock the dog of Belinda 
the next line to 50 chosen cells okay and this will see 50 chosen cells of special not features important uh patty code over we have known the seven fall to fell swift with hoops and around the ribs of fell from a strong line about a silver pound a guard the white circumference around so uh they were given assigned different tasks special tasks were given their petty coat has cut piece of a cloth so protecting her uh protecting it was given to a different uh, uh spirit and allusion to ajax is there and has cut is stiff stiff of hope like a ribs of well her stiffness so stiffness of that skirt is uh compared with ribs of well and uh so they the spirits did all to protect her and they leave no place to harm her and we'll see the next line whatever spirits care less of his charge his boss neglects or leave the fair at large shall sleep sharp vengeance soon or take his sins um, be stop in fields and transfix with pins or plunge in legs of peter washes lie or wedge hall edges in bodkin eye gums and promatums shall rise shall his uh, flint restrain while clunge he beats his slicken wings in vain or alum stall stip with contracting power shrink his thin essence like a ripple flower or uh, or as or uh, or as lixium fix the rich shall feel the giddy motion of fearing mill so different tasks have been assigned to them and he is bewaring them that if any of you are not responsible in your task or sh or show some carelessness you will be given punishment okay and uh, different punishments have been given if you if you fail to if you fail in your duties that were assigned and uh, okay the who stops in wild mean locked in a bot the different punishments such as lock in a bottle or drown in a wash basin pin them with pins and uh, and uh, you will see the uh, okay here ripple flowers you mean like a uh, shrinking flowers you will be shrinken uh, hacker like a shrinking flower and here Exium it's an illusion is used there Greek legends use who punishment uh, uh, Zeus who give punishment to this Exium for flirting his wife Zeus a god in Greek mythology and the feeling will also refer to that illusion that as a punishment he was tied to a feeling will in underworld and uh, will see date he spoke the spirits from cells descend some up in up around the nymph extend some third some through the massive ringlets of her hair and up in up mean hover names refers to belinda and some hanged upon the pendants of her ear and with beating hearts the dire event they wait anxious and trembling for birth of fate. So they were all conscious and worried about what's gonna happen with Belinda, the bad things and uh, so they they were assigned duties and everyone was conscious in his in their duties, but they were anxious what's going to happen. So that's con Canto 2 and in next video we will discuss Canto 3.